Hello, Rotarians. Thank you for giving me a chance to talk about the important work you're doing to eradicate polio. First, I want to say congratulations for getting past the halfway point in your commitment to raise $200 million as part of the challenge grant with the Gates Foundation. Your success is not surprising. The reason we decided to partner with Rotary because we knew that Rotarians were so committed to the polio eradication effort. Rotarians have been fighting polio for a quarter of a century. It's a long time and longer than we all planned, but you've kept going and you've kept others going. Thanks to your hard work, polio has declined by 99%. Now getting rid of the final 1% will be very difficult, but we have new information, a new plan, and new tools, including a bivalent vaccine that's already reaching children in the four countries that have never stopped polio. We're seeing huge progress in Nigeria, where there's been a 50% reduction in polio cases. These signs of progress will strengthen the world's resolve to see this effort through to the end. The work you're doing to raise funds for the program is critical, especially given the tight government budgets and increasing costs for a very aggressive polio program. Your work as advocates is also very important. We need to keep this fight high on the world's list of priorities. I know you'll use the power of your reputation to make sure your government is supporting polio eradication, either through foreign aid or as a domestic priority. During my travels, I've seen what this horrible disease does to children. Rotary and its partners have provided the infrastructure, vaccines, and manpower needed to spare millions of children from a lifetime of suffering. So thank you for all you're doing. This is hard work. We don't know when the last child will be affected, but we do know that Rotary is in this to the end, and you've inspired our foundation to be right there alongside you.